so much fun on that set. And later in tonight's ET, we have the Friends NCIS music video, two of the most popular shows in the world. What got them together? Trust me, you want to see that. But right now, I have the scoop on Beyonce's Super Bowl weight loss. Slim and sexy, but just how much weight did B lose for the halftime performance? When a performer is working so vigorously, they're shrinking constantly, and so she was losing weight every day. No one knows better than designer Ruben Singer, and he's talking to only one entertainment news show. We had to keep taking it in and taking it in. Not just the costume's creator, Ruben altered the dress several times for the superstar, even doing final fittings backstage moments before she tore it at halftime. Up until the last minute, we were working on tweaking a few things, but it ended up working out perfectly. We were making sure that the level of the skirt was in the right place, and that kind of thing. Beyonce's dress, multi-layered and breakaway, but more than anything, sexy. Ruben reveals his design sketches, and they are stunning. I started the concept and the development with her in November, and then we actually put some pieces into work at the end of December. 200 man hours went into this costume using 14 different seamsters. Worries about a wardrobe malfunction? Not a chance. Her range of motion is so major that you can't really, it would be a crime to restrict her in any way. As you can see from this photo, elastic nude colored body panels are hidden throughout the design to keep Beyonce's bits from becoming a public affair. The most amount of pressure you can imagine. It was crazy. Hey! Now, last night meant big business for Beyonce. She announced the tour dates for her Mrs. Carter World Tour shortly after her halftime extravaganza. She got in front of people that will now download her songs, go to her concerts. So this is a big promotional event. Fox Business reporter Sandra Smith says the halftime show translates into money off the field. Beyonce performed in front of a lot of people last night that otherwise would never see her, old, young, in between. But performing isn't the only way Beyonce is cashing in. There's only one true match for me. She raked in some bucks starring in a pre-Super Bowl ad for L'Oreal Cosmetics. Of course, there were a lot of great and not so great ads during the Super Bowl, and we're breaking them down. Taco Bell scored big with an ad featuring the greatest generation surviving a wild night of partying. But Scientology? Reportedly eight million for this ad. Dare to think for yourself. But what about Psy? One of his only images without sunglasses. I was on the set as Psy showed how nutty he really is. Cracking Gangnam Star. So I'm definitely a big fan of Psy's commercial. Nancy, Rob, what were some of your favorite spots? Oh, Roxy, there were so many fun ones this year. I particularly like the pet goat Doritos one, especially when the goat screamed. Screamy goat. Sounds yeah. fun. I didn't see any of them. I was down there on the field, but I hear the Budweiser Clydesdales was another favorite this year. Yeah, it was quite the horse race. Yes, and it included beer. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> and now... <laughs>